Hello everyone, it's Ducks Battles here. Uh, we're going to play some Oregon Trail Deluxe today. And I have a, a hat to show off. I found this, this hat actually at my house. It's a boulder hat. And I was like, this is pretty Oregon Trail like, so I should wear it. <laughs> so hopefully you like my new outfit. Get me in the mood for for heading west on the Oregon Trail. We'll see how we'll see how long I've got my I've got my headphones on like around the back of my head so uh that I can put my hat on top. <laughs> so we'll see we'll see how long this lasts <laughs> for it to be for it to stay comfortable. But yeah, it's got a got a feather in my hat and everything. I don't know how much you can tell, but yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling good. I'm looking good, right? Yeah, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> All right. So, um, yeah. So I thought I'd take a step. So we've been doing a lot of Oregon Trail too. I thought we would do some Oregon Trail Deluxe. Maybe I'll go back to um, the previous version of Oregon Trail as well, the original. Um, a little bit here just to kind of change it up a little bit and also in preparation for the organ trail uh, I am going to be playing the organ trail here uh, in a couple of streams to start it um, if you don't know what the organ trail is it's a spoof game um, about the zombie apocalypse and a station wagon traveling west to find a cure for the zombie apocalypse um, the organ trail so it's 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 funny um and they're obviously drawing a lot of inspiration from the oregon trail um to spoof it and um i've i've never played the game it should be a lot of fun uh because it'll be you know my first playthrough of it um but yeah but it, it, it more closely spoofs these earlier games than oregon trail 2 so i wanted to do some of these earlier oregon trail uh, runs before going into the Oregon Trail. Um, and yeah, uh, the Oregon Trail was actually gifted to me by one of my viewers, which was very sweet and very kind. Um, and I really appreciate that. And I look forward to playing it. But for today, we're heading west once again. Uh, battling rattlesnakes and starvation and scurvy and the dreaded dysentery to get <laughs> to Oregon City. Um, but without, that's enough of me chit-chatting. Let's, uh, let's hit the trail, eh? Yeah? Alright. Travel the trail. Got to we are, you're about to begin a great adventure, traveling the Oregon Trail across the rugged landscape of North America. Your covered wagon pulled by a team of oxen will travel from Independence, Missouri to the fertile Willamette Valley of the Oregon Territory, a journey of approximately 2,000 miles. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Oh, and I do apologize also. Um, there's not a ton of sound in this game anyway. It kind of only pops up at like forts and cities and or in towns and stuff um but the version i'm playing I, I haven't quite figured out how to get the sound working so uh there is no sound um so you'll just have to deal with my voice i suppose i could put music on in the background but too much too much sound and music in the world already well it's nice to have a little bit of of quiet here as we peacefully trek across america um so what should we be a banker blacksmith carpenter doctor farmer merchant saddle maker teacher um i don't have a high score run in this version of the game i don't feel like doing one today so maybe we'll be let's be a doctor be a doctor that will help the, uh, that then we can help anybody who gets sick or injured and know exactly what we're doing, right? That'll help keep everyone alive. People in our wagon. Let's see. Who should we have in our wagon today? Let's have Silas. And let's see. Um, Hubert. 
Silas, you bear. Okay, we need some some ladies on this trek. Can't be can't just be men. But we have Silas, you bear. Uh, let's see. Let's do Vivian and one more lady. Juliet. Juliet. Vivian, Hubert, Silas. And ducks, of course, ducks. Oh. Onward bound. Let's go. Matt's general store. Good old Matt. Thank goodness for Matt. <laughs> okay. Well, I'm going to make sure my camera's in focus. Yeah, so a little, little better. Okay. Um, all right, oxen. We need at least six oxen. It's my standard. And then sets of clothing. They, they, I think they recommend two per person. And there's five of us, so ten boxes of bullets. We're just gonna go with four, and then one of each spare. And then a thousand. I might get more than a thousand food. It's two hundred. What is that? So four hundred. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get twelve hundred. Yeah, twelve hundred pounds of food. Yeah, uh, yeah. Maybe I'll get a little more. This is. See, here's the thing. Everything is cheaper at the beginning, right? So, I mean, why not stock up? Yeah, yeah, we'll do 1,400 pounds of food. And then one spare of everything, bullets, clothes. It's all we need. This is all we need. It's so funny when you look at, you know, in Oregon Trail 2, there's so many different things you can buy <laughs> to to bring on with it. Like there's fiddles and Dutch ovens and I think there's even, you know, just rocking chairs and banjos and, um, and then there's all like the medicines, like that you can bring and axes and hammers it's crazy <laughs> and i don't you know i don't know how how much those specific items affect the game i mean i've talked about this before with oregon oregon trail too like fishing poles like does that i've i've never like had a random event where you can catch a fish but anyway i know in later editions of the game you can you can go fishing which is fun um okay let's but here we're set. I think this is this is all we need. We set off on the trail. Okay, when do we want to leave? Again, my go-to is April. Let's go in April. March is much too early. We're gonna go in April. And here we go, people. Independence. Here we are in Independence. And let's go. We still have, yeah, 660. We still got plenty of cash. Let's walk the walk. Oh no, Hubert has a broken arm. What are you doing, Hubert? Hubert was. <laughs> okay, hold on here. <laughs> Hubert is. <laughs> He's got. What, what are you doing walking around getting bit by a snake while you have a broken arm, dude? You gotta be laying down in the wagon taking a break. We better rest up so Hubert can heal from his ailments. Two days? Ah, it's April. We've got plenty of time. Let's do a good three days. No no need to start off with a week uh, having someone sick right at the beginning. All right. I like in the in the previous version of this game, the original version, like after a, after a day has passed that the wagon like stops on each at each like day then to signify that you had stopped for the night. Kansas River crossing. Here we go. Our first crossing. What do we got? Well let's check status just to see how Hubert is doing. Snake bite. Okay, Hubert's still got a snake bite. I don't know if that means he's better from his um his broken arm. Probably not. They've probably only put one thing at a time up there. Okay, four feet deep. Let her float. Cock the wagons and float across. Mm. Yes, 
We made it. We made it across. It's fun when they got the little animations. <laughs> it's not fun when you can see that your wagon tipped. That's not good. Mm -mm. No way. All right, but we're we're doing we're doing fine. We're doing fine. How's you bear? I still got a snake bite. That's all right. Let's do a little hunting. It's this. This is a hard hunting game of of the. Oh, I did get that one. Ah. You gotta. There we go. Okay, that should be enough. How many bullets did we waste on that? Like six, seven. But that's pretty good. I believe in this version of the game you can only carry a hundred pounds of food back so you don't want to waste your bullets on extra food oh i was gonna now nah, let's keep going let's keep going maybe we'll rest at the at the river oh <laughs> we're there <laughs> yeah let's rest here well i should check to make sure yeah hugh bear is still suffering from snake bite so we'll rest here two days <laughs> hang in there hugh bear we believe in you. I suppose I could. <laughs> I guess Hubert is French. I've, I haven't really heard Hubert. Hubert? Yeah. I suppose there's Huberts. You know, Americanized or, or Anglicized. Hubert. Hubert. But our Hubert is French. Hubert. Okay. So we rested. Now we gotta call cross the river. It's only two feet. Let's ford. Ford the big blue river. See how they do. That's the the so scary when the like water starts it goes completely over the the oxen. <laughs> oh no. But we made it. We didn't we didn't drown. We got oh we got stuck in the muddy riverbanks. Oh. Didn't really have a downside though. I guess. A thief stole two sets of clothing? What? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Time out. Time out. How dare they? What is this about? And Vivian was bitten by a snake. We got two snake bits. I'm a doctor, though. I forgot. I'm a doctor. I should be able to deal with this. So, I'm going to hunt again for funsies and because we need I want to make sure we got plenty of stock okay one buffalo ought to do it there we go oh you can't wait yeah you carry two, so you can carry 200 pounds back in this game okay okay it's nice all right so you can carry 200 and then we are going to rest for the two snake bit sufferers Vivian and Hubert so we're resting, resting, resting. Okay. These days are kind of long. All right. On we go. Almost to Fort Kearney. I think this is Fort Kearney. Yeah. Fort Kearney. 1848. Oh, poor Hugh Bear. All right. We're going to rest at the fort for sure. Made it to Fort Kearney. Um... All right, we'll rest for Hubert, then we'll check out. So, <laughs> so Hubert has had a broken arm, has been bitten by a snake, and now he's got a broken leg. <laughs> what are you, <laughs> Hubert? Man, I think we have to have a talk about your activities because this. <laughs> I mean, sure. Oh, Vivian's better. Why is Hubert still suffering? Oh. Because it's Hubert, that's why. It seems like he's just prone. He's just prone to accidents. It's okay, it's okay, Hubert. You know, I understand these things happen, but... Uh, you, you really have to be more careful. You can't be breaking all of your bones. Um... Should I buy food? 25 cents. 
I don't even know. Uh, oh, somebody stole my clothes. I'm going to buy some cl replacement clothing. Again. They stole my clothes. Ridiculous. I, theft stole two sets of clothing. Who knows? I guess they must have needed it better than me. So, or needed... They... Just they were... They were... Found themselves without any clothes on the trailer. Running around naked out there. So, if you needed clothes... Stole them from me, fine. Fine. I was able to buy some more. <laughs> but still, <laughs> that was pretty... Pretty mean of them to steal clothes. You've lost the trail. Okay, well, we're back on the trail. Beautiful, beautiful spring, May day on the trail. Oh, Juliet has the measles. Oh, boy. What? <laughs> <laughs> is this the same guy? Does it just have a thing for stealing clothes? I've never gotten this event in this game before. And now I get it twice? <laughs> Come on. Come on, I just bought it. I mean, it's a good thing I bought it. replacement pairs because we'd be pretty we'd be pretty lost if we didn't have we'd be we'd be down to six pairs of clothing. We wouldn't be able to change. All right. Um, I guess it's better than being naked, not having anything to wear. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna do? Oh, Juliet has the measles. Okay, so I timed out. So we gotta we gotta rest. But let me see how everyone. Oh man, people are not doing well. What is wrong with everybody? I'm a doctor. I mean, we're eating enough, right? Yeah, we're eating filling. And we're only... Let's see, where's the speed? Pace. Yeah, steady pace. Why are we getting... Sometimes, I mean, I guess it's like real life. Sometimes things just... Even though you do everything as best as you possibly can, everything that's best for you, you've prepared, you've planned, even with through all of that, Things might go wrong, and you're just sick on the trail. Alright, we're making it to Chimney Rock. That'll be fun. Oh, no water. That That's probably not helping things, although that's... And no grass? Oh, Juliet's better, thank goodness. Seems like everybody's had some kind of sickness. I think, is it? Silas. Silas hasn't gotten overtly sick but he's not doing good i mean he's fair fair is is fine right fair is you know you're just like a little like a, like a monday right it's like how you feel on a monday fair not good but you know yeah i'm here that's what fair is <laughs> of course hubert hubert is never gonna get better <laughs> i don't think i'll keep going yeah because we got to get some grass for the oxen this is a disaster Still got plenty of food. The thing about this game versus Oregon Trail 2, it's in Oregon Trail 2, I'm pretty sure hunting stays fairly consistent, unless you like hunt a bunch in the same spot. You can still hunt pretty big game later on in this one, whereas in Oregon Trail 2, like if you're going through the desert, there's like nothing. If you've watched past streams, you know how frustrated I can be trying to find food. And, uh, well, let's time out here while we're lost. Um trying to find food in the desert, but I think usually you can hunt um, pretty big game at any point in this one. I could be wrong. We'll probably try it and see. See how wrong I am. Okay, we're moving. We'll get to the fort, I suppose. Fort Laramie. I suppose I should buy some more clothes, huh? Because <laughs> we all know someone's going to steal it. No, I'm not going to buy food. I'm going to hunt. The other thing you don't have to worry about is like scurvy and stuff. Because it's all just food. Pounds of food. You're not buying you know, cornmeal and vegetables and fruit and pickles and pemmican and bacon. So onwards... 
Bad water. Hubert. <laughs> Poor Hubert. He's just... Oof. Not doing so hot. Yeah, we're going to go hunting, and then we're going to rest for Hubert. If I can get a buffalo. Here we go. One buffalo is all I need. Bam. Got 200 pounds of food. Nice. Okay, and then we'll rest here. Another three days. We don't need that measles getting worse. Don't need to take a turn for the worse. Uh, how do we do it? How many miles have we traveled? Say, oh yeah, 600, almost 700 miles. Ugh, not quite, not quite halfway yet. I am looking dapper in this hat. I do, if I do say so myself. <laughs> okay, did I miss anything while I was... Hubert! <gasps> Hold on, hang on everyone. Hubert is well again. It's a miracle. It's a miracle. Hubert! Nothing is ailing Hubert. He's well again. And it just has a case of the Mondays. That's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna call an unexplained fair status. Case of the Mondays. <laughs> Alright, onward ho. Let's go. Onward! Oregon or bust. Hey, we found some wild fruit. Let's go. Let's go. Things are looking up. It always brightens my day when we find some wild fruit. There's really dealing with a lot of no water, though. That's that's not good. Yeah, everyone's health is fair overall. Let's do some hunting while we're lost. I seem to get lost on the trail kind of a lot. Oop. Nope. Uh, no. No. Oh, shooting. I'm missing a lot. There we go. Come here. Okay, I don't want to waste... Mm. No, I'm not going to waste any more bullets. That was like 12 bullets. No, not quite. Why is that blocked off there? I don't know. We'll become scarce. Okay. Let's keep... Keep her moving. Keep this wagon train moving and hang on to your bonnets. So we're going to get there. We're almost to Independence Rock. And we're doing good time. You want to get to Independence Rock by Independence Day, July 4th, in the United States. Uh-oh, Silas was bitten by a snake. So Silas, Silas uh, finally succumbed to some kind of ailment. So everyone in the party, I guess except for ducks, except for me, moi, ducks. Uh, has suffered some kind of ailment. So we will rest because everyone's still pretty fair. That was a case of the Mondays. Let's do, just do another two days. Okay. And then... We will keep going. <clears throat> so this is about halfway. Oh no, no, we still got another hundred miles before we're halfway. <laughs> we really are very dry out here. No grass, no water. Juliet, ooh, Juliet suffering from exhaustion. We're at the slowest pace, Juliet. Come on. We'll let you rest for a couple days. Exhaustion. She's still exhausted. We'll let her hunt because we're getting low on food. Low-ish. I like, I like to stay up in the high... Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, usually one of those bucks... I guess, I don't know if those are elk? And then, like, the little ones are, like, gazelles. I don't know, usually one of those, whatever those are, the darker brown, bigger-looking deer-type things. Yeah, usually they weigh a lot, so I usually only need one. All right. Keep moving down the trail. I this been like hasn't been any water. It's so strange. I'm gonna hunt another a little bit here. 
tree just popped out of nowhere. Uh, see, I might have to, there's no, no bigger game right now. So I could be wrong about the fact that you are always guaranteed some kind of either buffalo or deer or bear or something. And I believe you only get like 60 seconds, 90 seconds to hunt. Yeah, see, I could, I was, I spoke too soon. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You just need a little patience. That's, that's the trick with hunting, right? You got to be patient. Oh, perfect. Look at that. We barely wasted any food. I love, love to see it. Never like wasting food. It's just, just good life lessons. Again, just great life lessons from history, life lessons from this game. Did we lose the trail. Why we stopped? Oh, because I hunted? Is that why? Bad water. We really have a water problem on this trail. Reach the South Pass. Yes, this is basically the ha South Pass is basically the halfway mark. South pla Pass through the Rockies. Okay, let's uh, a little better check everybody. Oh boy, what is wrong with everyone? I don't. We've got so much food. Okay, we better rest for like five, a good long rest because. That is not good. And all this talk of no water and bad water makes me want to have some water. <laughs> That's good. Fresh. Mount Juliet's well again. That's good. Okay, so no one's outright sick anymore. Correct? Yes, yeah, so we're all just fair. And uh, we'll keep going. Fair is good enough. Um, let's take a shortcut. I think no one's stolen our clothes. We don't need to buy new clothes. I don't need any spare wagon parts. We've got food. We can hunt for more. Yeah. Excuse my, my water drinking sounds. Okay. Um... I'm surprised, honestly, that an oxen hasn't either gotten sick or died. There's been like, <laughs> there's been like, n no water for ages, no grass. There, this is why oxen are OP. Oxen are just the sturdiest, toughest beasts. They're so strong and loyal. They are determined to get you to Oregon. They are your best friends on the trail. Sorry, Hubert, you're you're a very close second. But uh, we should Green River Crossing. All right, let's do a status check. Okay, well, we will 20 feet. I wonder, what, should I take the ferry for this one, everyone? Yeah, let's take the ferry. No, no, it's a 20 feet deep. I don't want to get tipped over in a 20 foot deep river. That's it's gonna take me under. Don't need that terror in my life. <laughs> We made it safely across. Thank you, Ferry River Crossing. An ox wandered off. Vivian has the measles. Ay. Measles. Who was it that started? Oh, Hubert, of course. Hubert, did you spread the measles to Vivian? All right, let's rest here. The case of the measles. We're making great time. We're making great time. Right? Yeah, we're, we're, doing, we're doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. All right, Vivian's, there we go. Rest was worth it. Vivian is better. Ugh, Juliet, you get tired fairly easily, dear Juliet. It's all right, it's all right. We'll rest. We've, we've, I've, like I said, we'll be okay. We'll be okay. And hopefully everybody will get out of their case of the Mondays too. I don't know, don't know why everyone's in fair health as opposed to good health. So we got plenty of food. No, oh, no. Hubert was bitten by a snake again. 
Good old Hubert. We talked about this. We told you, Hubert, you should not be going out searching for... Ugh, searching for... Come back. Hubert seems to go out to find these rattlesnake nests. Not a good idea. Yeah, oh, here we go. Uh, so I'll have... Oh. There we go. That's plenty. That's way more than I need. Because you usually only need... Oh, that's not quite as bad as I thought. Not great still. Wasted 100 pounds of food. But All right, let's keep, keep her moving. Wait, was he... Oh, dear. Was he bitten by a snake again? While he was suffering from... It? Oh, and Silas... Wait, oh, wait. Oh, my goodness. I missed Silas getting bitten by a snake. Ay, ay, ay. But Hubert was bitten twice. Oh, this is bad. We I don't like resting for a long time, but everybody's pretty darn sick. We're going to rest for four days. Sick slash bit by a snake. Sick slash case of the Mondays. So Juliet's better. She's not exhausted anymore. The trail life. The trail life is hard. You know? Exhausting. Silas is better. All right. So now we just have Hubert suffering from a snake bite, and Vivian's got the measles still, is that true? Let's check. No, everyone, oh, but everyone in poor health now. Ay ay ay! I'm supposed to be a doctor. I feel like we've been taking too many rest days, but that's the best way to make sure people get better. Hubert's better, okay. Everybody's fair health now, okay. Good. Of course, we're eating through our food while we're not making any progress. All right. Soda Springs. Hooray! Hooray! Everybody's fair. It's feeling good. Let's hunt. Oh, we're too close to Soda Springs. Too many people around. All right, all right. We'll hunt over here then. <sighs> Boom. All we need. One buck. Silas has a fever. Okay. Okay. Kind of want to keep moving, though. We've had so many rest days. And I think we're still doing okay on schedule, but... Ooh, we found 20 bullets and a wagon wheel and an abandoned wagon. Happy day. Abandons, finding stuff in abandoned wagons is, like, the best. So fun. We've reached Fort Hall. Oh, no. Very poor. What is going on? Why is... I don't understand. <laughs> Chat, does anybody know? What? I think it's just the game, right? Like, I mean, we're eating well. There's only so much you can do. We've been resting plenty. I mean, we're going to rest here, obviously. Probably for like a week. We're at a slow pace. Like, everything should be going well. And I'm a doctor! Like, this is literally why I chose to be a doctor for this run. I'm going to give it a good six days of rest here at Fort Hall. We have the food for that? Yeah, we'll be okay. Okay. Very poor? I just... I, uh, man... We definitely, if I hadn't caught that, I gotta be paying closer attention. If I hadn't caught that, we'd have had some graves to dig, I'm sure. Okay, everyone's back to fair. Do we just need to build in more rest days? I mean, we've been resting a lot. We've been resting a lot. Okay, and Silas got has lost his fever, so that's good. Okay, all right, well. Uh, let's keep going. Food is okay. Still have quite a ways to go. A typhoid? No, Hubert has a typhoid? Ugh, let's go hunting. Hunt, 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 hunt. Alright, these can go by pretty quickly now that I've got my system figured out. Okay, nice. That was a good haul. No grass. Again, how are we doing better than the oxen? The oxen. Uh oh, a trail is impassable. We need to clear a trail. 
that's a fascinating thing. Like the early pioneers that were traveling west on the trail, like they literally had to trailblaze because mostly groups that had traveled through there were were like you know smaller groups that were fur traders and explorers that were that didn't have wagons. They maybe had you know a single or, or two or three animals maybe like mules or pack mules or horses that could get through pretty narrow places. But with a wagon, you need much. Not only do you need a wider trail you need flatter more stable ground so a lot of these early oh health is good look at that a lot of the early settlers had to trailblaze like in the early 1840s it, there was pretty much an established trail by 1848 um, but in the in the 30s and 40s of the 1800s um, they would have to cut down trees and move rocks and find the best way through the mountains and the hills like just imagine that. Just imagine like get rid of time out here. I've been talking a lot. I want to make sure I check our status. Look at that. We're doing great. Don't curse it though. Knock on wood. We're gonna hunt too. But yeah, can you imagine blazing a trail through the Rocky Mountains where no wagon train has gone before, no wagon has gone before? It's a lot of work. It takes a lot of time too to clear a trail. That's you know, cutting down trees. And you know, this is before chainsaws or anything. They had you'd axes, axes and saws and ropes and and you know, no bulldozers or anything like that. Obviously, so you'd have to move it all, move the any felled trees by hand. Heavy fog, no water. How are we doing? Look at this. Look at this trail we've blazed across. We're getting close. Well, maybe a third of the way left quarter of the way a rough trail but anyway it's incredible it's incredible what these these people went through back in history you have reached the snake river crossing oh, now we're all back to fair we've got our case of the mondays that's all right uh let's talk to somebody we haven't talked to anybody it says right here in the sh shively 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 <laughs> in the shively gu guidebook you must hire an Indian to pilot you across. Uh, must hire an Indian to pilot you at the crossings of the Snake River. It being dangerous, if not perfectly understood. But my husband insists on crossing without a guide. Oh, oh no! And I realize, you know, they're using histor how how European settlers would have described um, a Native American as an Indian, which you know is not not correct. <laughs> They are Native Americans or American Indians or First Peoples of America. But that is what European settlers would have called them. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm sorry your husband doesn't want a guide. I'm sure that uh, that would be helpful. They know how to cross rivers. Down there between those steep lava gorges, twisting and writhing is the Snake River. So much water, and so hard to get to. We've got many miles of desert before Oregon, so be sure to fill your water kegs at the crossing. Yeah, water kegs. Well, I don't have the option to buy water kegs at Matt's General Store. You can buy water kegs in Oregon Trail, too, and I usually try to make sure I buy a couple. For this exact reason. Thank you, sir. Thank you for the lesson. All right, let's cross this river. Three sets of clothes. We do have, we could hire a guide. Nah, nah. I'm afraid someone's going to steal our clothes and then we'll really be short of clothes. There is there is a clothing thief among us. So I know it's a high possibility. I've already already had four sets of clothes stolen, so do not need to deal with this. Okay, we made it across. And there, we didn't need the guide. Well, apparently we needed a trail guide, though, because we took the wrong trail. We didn't, need not, we didn't need a river guide. But everyone's in good health. We're happy. We're having fun. We should probably hunt. So we're going to hunt, get some food. Maybe we'll find some wild fruit. That'll always make me happy. Okay. Uh, no, don't run away. Don't. Oh, here we go. There we go. All right. Got one. Is that two bullets or three that I used? Two. Nice. And I did find that box of bullets in an abandoned wagon, so that's nice. Uh, 
<sighs> there, we're back to green. You had a wagon axle brake, but we're able to replace it from supplies. Nice. Uh oh, Juliet was bit by a snake. Juliet gets exhausted soon. Took the wrong trail. I wonder if delayed, like, does that count as resting? I mean, if you took the wrong trail, theoretically, like, you're, you are moving to have to find the trail, so. And it's stressful, right? So, I wouldn't think it's the same as resting. Let's just see how Juliet's doing. She's still got the snake bite. Mmm, it's October, man. See, now we're getting... And now I'm not liking taking rest days, because this is getting pretty late in the year. Oh, thank goodness. Juliet's well again. Okay, all right. That's good. That's good. We've reached Fort Boise. Hooray! Fort Boise. Do I need to buy anything? Let's see how expensive stuff is. Yeah, look at that. That's a full, like, that's twice as expensive as Matt's general store at the very beginning of the game. Um, I don't need... No. We should not have to replace another axle. If we do, I mean, who knows? Things seem to come in twos in this game. But I think we're okay. So let's keep her moving. Do we need to hunt? An ox is sick. That's the first ox being sick because they're so strong and dependable. Let's go hunting though. I'm gonna put my water away. I'll take a sip in a second. I gotta focus. I gotta focus. Oh, I saw you. I saw you, elk or buck or whatever you are. Come back out. Uh, buffalo will do. Boom. Okay. I'll take a buffalo. I did waste a bit of food there, but at least we only took one life. Only only killed one animal. Delicious fresh water. <laughs> Again, I feel like I'm seeing all this like no water stuff and it's making me thirsty. <laughs> I'm crossing the desert. Uh no water. I need I need some water. <laughs> Hopefully we filled up our water kegs. Hmm. Alright, we're getting closer and closer, people. It's November. Man. See, I thought we were doing pretty good time-wise, but November's sort of late. Don't want it to snow. Trail is impassable. Hopefully it's not because of snow. Don't want to get stuck in the mountains over winter with nothing to eat. Can't have that. Reach the Grande Ronde in the Blue Mountains. Hooray! We better take the shortcut, because I guess if I'll take the shortcut, we've got to do some hunting. It's really, you know, I try to avoid buying anything at the forts anyway, unless someone stole my clothes. Oh, come back. Hudson, Hudson is in the room. Can you hear him meowing? I better shoot this deer first. Okay. Come on. Ugh, there he is. Hudson, look at the camera. Look at the camera. <laughs> he does not like being held like that. He likes sitting on my lap. Yeah. Hi, Hudson. You're the boss. I only shot 89. Those deer were light, I guess. Huh. That's all right. We're doing okay. Oh, Hubert. We can't stop, Hubert. It's almost December, for crying out loud. Uh-oh. See, this this happens sometimes. It just says Hubert. I think he just wanted his name to be written in the diary. So, <laughs> Hubert. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> what does that mean, Hudson? Huh? What does that mean? Trails and path. Oh, there's, everything's getting thrown away. 
It is. Uh, now this is probably because of snow. I bet you it is snow. Although, I think this does turn white if there's snow. Hudson, what do you... Just sit down, buddy. Ugh, he probably wants breakfast. Just sit down. No. How long have we been delayed? We've been almost a week here. Oh, this is not good. This is making me nervous. Oh, we don't have any food. We gotta hunt. Come on. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. That should be enough food. Perfect. Oh man, that took us nine days, like nine, ten days to find the trail. An ox died, oh no. Oh, we're almost, we're almost there. This is taking forever. I suppose I am at a slower pace. Maybe I need to pick up the pace here at the end. But everyone's in good health. I don't want to jeopardize that. And this is, this is, we're almost there. We're almost to the river. There we go. Okay. We're almost there. This is the last leg, everyone. Hudson, will you just sit down? Keeps, well, keeps rubbing my, my hand like he wants to get petted. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Silly boy. Alright. <laughs> okay. Fine. Yeah, I know you're probably hungry. Okay. Uh, rafting is pretty easy. You know what, though? I I don't want to risk it. Let's just take the toll road. Ugh. Hudson. Go on. My goodness. Silly cat. Okay. I guess the rafting probably would have been faster and I wouldn't have had to... I see we'll probably have to hunt again. Okay, would love to get at least one or two more. There, that'll be. That'll be enough. This'll be... This should get us all the way to Oregon. Oh my goodness, there you saw, saw my dog Percy come in. We have all sorts of fun pets here. <laughs> oh, come on, we're so close. Hubert is well again, that's good. Everyone's in good health, like, come on. I can see it, I'm pretty sure this is the Oregon Valley right here. Oh my, not again. It's because of snow, I betcha. I betcha it took us too long to get to this point. That's what I'm assuming, although I think it does show this white if there's snow. So who knows? It was just a bunch of trees fell down on the trail. Trees and avalanches, who knows what. Yeah, they make it look real flat here, but technically, you know, we're in the mountains here. Still in the mountains. Not as big as the Rocky Mountains, which I believe are along here, mostly. But, see, I took another... Eight, nine days? Uh, see, now i got to hunt again for crying out loud. So we've had two delays where it's taken us like over a week to, to find, to be able to clear the trail slash find a new trail around it, whatever was going on. Come on, a couple more deer here. That would be nice. Mm -hmm. Nope, I'm not going to waste a bullet on a squirrel. I mean, we should have plenty of bullets. Alright, we'll, we'll call that good. 44 pounds, okay. I mean, if we're delayed here much longer. Okay. Wagon tongue broke. We're so <laughs> we It's January for crying out loud. Oh, no. Vivian's got cholera. Trail is impassable again. Like, 
It's a beautiful January day out here, isn't it? <laughs> nice, nice green January day. <laughs> and we got just a buffalo strolling through. Ay, ay, ay. How does all this impact? Like this is this is just unlucky. Come on. Like, this is the third time it's taken us a week. Like, we're so close. <laughs> this is just cruel. This is so cruel. <laughs> Vivian's well again. All right, but we still haven't found the trail. Oh, there we go. Victory! There we go. That feels good. We made it. Everyone made it. Actually, that's a pretty good deal. I think I usually have lost at least one or two people <laughs> playing this version of the game. <laughs> so yeah, so we've got Ducks. We've got Silas. We've got little Hubert, who's prone to breaking, breaking his bones and getting bitten by snakes. And Vivian. And... um. What was the other one? Vivian <laughs> and Let's see Silas, <laughs> Hubert, Ducks, Vivian, Juliet. Of course, Juliet. This is Juliet right here. Vivian, Juliet, and I don't know who this is. They just showed up. This baby just showed up. <laughs> but we made it. We made it to the Willamette Valley in Oregon. Congratulations. Thanks, everyone, for helping us on this wonderful journey. And we all arrived in good health. Look at that. We were not in good health on the way out by at all. All right. Dr. Bonus Times 1. This is a terrible score. <laughs> I don't think this is even going to be on the list of legends <laughs> at all. Well, it does say we've made it onto the list. Well, we'll see. And I, yeah. yeah, we'll see. We'll see what we get. I guess it could be worse. Could be worse. All right, let's see how far. Let's see the list of legends. Where's our? Where's the list of legends? Okay, this is it here. What I want to see the scores. I think I have to wait for it to, because it'll scroll through. Anyway, <laughs> well, we made it, everyone. I don't think this hat, I don't think my hat brought me any luck. It just made me look sweet like I was on the trail. <laughs> but I don't think it brought us any luck on the trail. Oh, let's not do that. Here, my hair is looking terrible. We'll put that back on if I can get it on. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> That's my hat. But yeah, thank you so much for for stopping by. Um traveling the, okay here we go we gotta pay attention to this for a second oh so this was a decent score five fifth because yeah yeah again i've got oregon trail two scores in my head about what you know what's the best there which those scores can rack up a lot higher so 2700 points is actually pretty decent you know nothing nothing to be ashamed of oh i forgot to check if i got a delay for being so late I'm pretty sure I've never been so late to Oregon. January, halfway through January to Oregon, like, it's pretty pretty bad. That's pretty abysmal. But, uh, again, thank you all for joining. Appreciate um, you being here, checking out the stream. You know, if you're liking what you're seeing and enjoying the content, uh, follow. You'll, you'll know when I'm streaming and be able to come and check us out. Um... What was I going to say? Like I like I mentioned at the beginning of the stream, I'm going to be trying the Oregon Trail here in the next couple of days. I think um, that's why I'm trying these original versions of Oregon Trail, the deluxe version. I think tomorrow we're going to do the original original version, uh, where you have to actually type everything in. There's no pointing and clicking in that version. So, um, and then after that, I think we'll actually hit the Oregon Trail, the the zombie apocalypse spoof. Of Oregon Trail, or Oregon Trail. I gotta emphasize the Oregon, 
not the organ. It's when you say it, <laughs> when you speak it, it they they sound very similar. So I have to make sure they're different. But yeah, we'll be doing the zombie apocalypse version um, in a couple days here, which will be fun. I've never played the organ version, organ trail with the zombies. I have not played that version. So it'll be fun. So join me for that for sure. Um, anyway, I hope you all have a, a good, wonderful day. Uh, and I will see you again sometime. <laughs>